Bereshit, Genesis 47. Then Yosef came and told Pharaoh and said, My father and my brethren and their flocks and their herds and all that they have are come out of the land of Canaan, and behold, they are in the land of Goshen. And he took some of his brethren, even five men, and presented them unto Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said unto his brethren, What is your occupation? And they said unto Pharaoh, Your servants are shepherds, both we and also our fathers. They said moreover unto Pharaoh, For to sojourn in the land are we come, for your servants have no pasture for their flocks, for the famine is sore in the land of Canaan. Now, therefore, we pray you, let your servants dwell in the land of Goshen. And Pharaoh spoke unto El Yosef, saying, Your father and your brethren are come unto you. The land of Mitzrayim is before you. In the best of the land, make et your father and et brethren to dwell. In the land of Goshen, let them dwell. And if you know any men of activity among them, then make them rulers over my cattle. And Yosef brought in at Yaakov's father and set him before Pharaoh. And Yaakov blessed at Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said unto El Yaakov, How old are you? And Yaakov said unto Pharaoh, the days of the years of my pilgrimage are a hundred and thirty years. Few and evil have the days of the years of my life been, and have not attained at unto the days of the years of the life of my fathers in the days of their pilgrimage. And Yaakov blessed at Pharaoh and went out from before Pharaoh. And Yaakov placed at his father and at his brethren and gave them a possession in the land of Mitzrayim, in the best of the land, in the land of Ra Amexic, rather, in the land of Ra Amexic, as Pharaoh had commanded. And Yosef nourished at his father and at his brethren and at all his father's household with bread according to their families. And there was no bread in all the land, for the famine was very sore, so that the land of Mitzrayim and all the land of Canaan fainted by reason of the famine. And Yosef gathered up at all the money that was found in the land of Mitzrayim and in the land of Canaan for the grain which they bought and Yosef brought at the money into Pharaoh's house. And when money failed in the land of Mitzrayim and in the land of Canaan, all the Mitzrayim came unto El Yosef and said, Give us bread, for why should we die in your presence? For the money fails. And Yosef said, Give your cattle, and I will give you for your cattle, if money fail. And they brought at their cattle unto El Yosef. And Yosef gave them bread in exchange for horses and for the flocks and for the cattle of the herds and for the asses. And he fed them with bread for all their cattle for that year. When that year was ended, they came unto him the second year and said unto him, We will not hide it from my Lord how that our money is spent. My Lord also has our herds of cattle. There is not aught left in the sight of my Lord, but our bodies and our lands. Wherefore shall we die before your eyes, both we and our land? Buy us and our land for bread, and we and at our land will be servants unto Pharaoh, and give us seed that we may live, and not die that the land be not desolate. 
And Yosef bought at all the land of Mitzrayim for Pharaoh. For the Mitzrayim sold every man his field, because the famine prevailed over them. So the land became Pharaoh's. At and for the people, he removed them to cities from one end of the borders of Mitzrayim even to the other end thereof. Only the land of the priests bought he not, for the priests had a portion assigned them of Pharaoh and did eat at their portion which Pharaoh gave them, wherefore they sold not at their lands. Then Yosef said unto the people, Behold, I have bought you this day at and your land for Pharaoh. Lo, here is seed for you, and ye shall sow at to the land, and it shall come to pass in the increase that ye shall give the fifth part unto Pharaoh, and four parts shall be your own for seeds of the field and for your food and for them of your households and for food for your little ones. And they said, You have saved our lives. Let us find grace in the sight of my Lord, and we will be Pharaoh's servants. And Yosef made it a law over the land of Mitzrayim unto this day that Pharaoh should have the fifth part except the land of the priests only, which became not Pharaoh's. And Yasharel dwelt in the land of Mitzrayim, in the country of Goshen, and they had possessions therein, and grew, and multiplied exceedingly. And Yaakov lived in the land of Mitzrayim seventeen years, so the whole age of Yaakov was a hundred forty and seven years, and the time drew nigh that Yashal, rather, Yashar El must die. And he called his son Yosef and said unto him, If now I have found grace in your sight, put, I pray you, your hand under my thigh, and deal kindly and truly with me. Bury me not, I pray you, in Mitzrayim, but I will lie with my fathers, and you shall carry me out of Mitzrayim, and bury me in their burying place. And he said, I will do as you have said. And he said, Swear unto me. And he swore unto him. And Yashael bowed himself upon the bed's head.